Hi everyone, I hope you're doing super well. You know, I have been looking at this area of my living room where I have my TV set, wondering to myself, what would it be like if I could rope around some Hartley philodendron around the TV to kind of match with the green wall that I have up above? So that's what we're gonna do today. Philodendron heteracium, better known as Hartley philodendron, are some of my favorite philodendron, and many of you probably have some at home. I have a ton growing on my green wall here, like the philodendron Brazil with its light green and dark green variegation. Then up above it, I have some neon green philodendron heteracium, and uh, just the standard kind as well. So what I was thinking is that if I were to take uh, some cuttings of philodendron heteracium and kind of uh, rope them around this area of my TV. So I do have some cuttings that I have potted up uh, and they are right now on the ground waiting for their moment to shine where I'll use them to go around the TV. Hopefully it turns out and looks pretty good, but you know, we'll figure that out as we as we go along with this process. Initially, what I was thinking was uh, taking some moss poles like this one and cutting them up and kind of just creating almost like a frame around the TV, but I decided not to do that. Though it would have looked really nice with um, the crates, the color of the crates, uh, the wood. So I think though that the philodendron heteracium um, though will look nice around this and will give it more of a jungle vibe. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to point out um, philodendron micans, which is also part of the heteracium uh, pool there. That is the velvety leaf one and I absolutely love it. Uh, it is one of my favorites because it's so pretty and it sparkles in the light. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking these cuttings. This one being the longest one. This one's, if I were to stretch it out, I think it's longer than six feet. And so this I believe I have three cuttings potted up in here. This came from, gosh, it was either that plant up there when i trimmed it down a couple months back or it could have been from uh boy i think the one in my hallway as well but this is one of them and uh yeah it's doing really well i potted it up a couple weeks ago and already you can see the roots are starting to grow out of the bottom so i'm probably gonna have to repot it um so i have this one here and i'll just set it down oh boy on the couch and then um i also have a Another cutting that I potted up. This one's probably only three and a half, four, three and a half, four feet, I would say. Uh, and I wish that I could have found another one of these uh, silver tins here. I got this at my local grocery store, the King Supers. Uh, they had it in their clearance section because they were just getting rid of a bunch of little pots and pans. It was like two bucks. But I only have one, so I'm gonna have to get a little creative because I do want the colors to match in the pot. Uh, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take out this um, philodendron burly marks veragata and uh, move that over here for the time being. You know what? Why don't you sit on this chair here? You'll enjoy it there. I don't know if it enjoys sitting on the chair. It actually probably enjoys being in brighter light because it's a variegated plant and it needs the sunlight in order to uh, continue on with its coloration. So let's see here. I'm going to take this guy and put him over yonder like so. Oh, and I'm trying to think whether or not it would be better to have them up here trailing down and around than over here and going this way, you know? I think it would. So I'm gonna take down this Syngonium Chiapens cutting. Um, this is a cutting from my mother plant here. And this cutting like took off like crazy. Uh, this is, one of its newer leaves, and it is literally the size of a hand. This is the newest leaf here. Uh, really easy to grow plant, by the way. And if you haven't seen it already, uh, a couple months back when I got the mother plant from Steve's Leaves Online, I did an unboxing video about it. Uh, super easy to care for plant, almost like a pothos in terms of how easy it is. Put that off to the side. And so, oh yeah, I need to take out this, uh, this bromeliad. Um, this bromeliad, when I got it, it had a beautiful orange flower on it. And I set it up, I think, like on a stand over here. And I accidentally knocked it over, and the flower just like ripped off right away. 
Uh, and it was devastating because it looked like one of these beautiful bromeliads, actually like one of the orange ones that had the orange color to it. Uh, I have bromeliads on this wall along with the philodendron heteracium, Hartley philodendron, because they can take the conditions that are up here and this light's fine for them. I have my central air unit blows cold air and heat during the winter this way. So I have to be very cautious about which plants I'm going to put up there that will be able to deal with that uh, sort of situation. Overall, though, like I was saying, this is a super easy to care for uh, house plant, the heartleaf philodendron. Um, and you can find them in your like local grocery shops, all that stuff. So really easy to come by. And what I love about them is that even when you forget to water them, they are so forgiving and they just bounce back right away. <laughs> So I'm thinking what I'll do is put that there for now. I'm going to move this fella over here and we'll deal with him in a second. And I have some clips and stuff that I'm thinking about maybe using that might be good for this situation. So these little clips that have... Um, uh, little sticky pads on the back of them. I'm thinking that might be the best to use. But first, I need to untangle these vines. Uh, just a little background on philodendron in general and the Hartley philodendron. Uh, the Hartley philodendron here, the philodendron heteracium, uh, is native to Central America and the Caribbeans. Uh, a lot of the time, you find them in like Mexico, uh, growing natively. These plants can grow like up to 20 feet long. And what's beautiful about them and why um, they can also get leaves that are up to like, I think it's like a foot and a half, two feet possibly long, um, is that they're climbing philodendron like so many other philodendron. And they, in the wild, in the forest, will climb up trees to try and get the most light that they can possibly reach uh, to get uh, their leaves bigger and bigger and become healthier and stronger plants. If you didn't know this already too, uh, philodendron in Greek, uh, New Greek, means lover of trees. Uh, so it kind of makes sense when you think about how their leaves are heart-shaped and where that name comes from. Uh, also, there are about like 400, I believe it's 489 species of philodendron um, and of course, like I was saying, the heteracium, the Hartley philodendron here, has a couple different varieties, like the Brazil, the neon, the micans as well. Um, so I'm thinking, 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 thinking that what we'll do is probably need one of those little hooks over here. And so, where did I put them? And I don't even know if I have enough, but that's okay. If I don't, we will get innovative. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put it like, do I want to go that way or this way? Yeah, I'm going to go this way, sideways. I know, so exciting when you guys can't really see close up here <laughs> as to how, what I'm talking about. When I'm like, do I want to go this way? Um, basically, I'm putting it sideways. That way I can kind of loop the vine through and... Um, not have it kind of like un uh, pull itself out of that little hook there. This is hopefully going to go well, but like most of my plant designs, it's hit or miss, and this one very well could be a miss. But that's okay, because you know what? A for effort <laughs> and trying. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm thinking, put it through there. And I want these sides of the leaves to show. Oh, stuck in another philodendron, my, one of my gloriosum cuttings down here. Sorry, philodendron gloriosum. Okay, but it already came undone. That's all right. It's probably gonna come undone a couple times until I figure out like how this whole thing's gonna go. If I do it that way. And the thing is, I also have some hooks in the back uh, on this wall over here that I had from uh, previous plant up there, but I think I'm not going to use those because I really want this to kind of trail along the TV. Boy, this is not going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be, but you know what? The best things in life are
some wisdom there from somebody who is an amateur plant hobbyist. <laughs> um, oh boy, maybe if I do it, ooh, if I do it this way, you know, take over the TV too much, that might actually work better. Oh, I wish I didn't use up this. That's okay. I have some other ones, and if I need to unplug that, I can do so. And all will be well in the world. No, it won't. <laughs> I'm so optimistic, aren't I? Okay, we're gonna put one right there. I guess the only thing that really bothers me about putting it up here is the fact that these hooks or these little clips are white and these little boxes, these crates are gray. And I know that it might not seem like a big deal to you, but it is to me and it'll probably get on my nerves. So what I'll do is I'll probably end up taking like a grayish brown uh, marker and coloring these in. <sighs> Welcome to my world, folks, and my OCD with plants and design. Even though it might not seem like it, it's bad. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep that one in there. Uh, I still have like a little sticky thing in the back here that I didn't take down from a former design from like two years ago. So I'll take that down. And this should be good to go. Let's see how many more I have. That might be it. <laughs> you know what though? That's where we that's where we start to get a little creative. I'm like reaching in here for anything possible. We're gonna get creative and I'll be right back, hopefully. Look what I found. I found another one. Uh, and I was able to peel that uh, other one that I had stuck on the side of over here on this crate off. I just used a knife. But fortunately, I keep a lot of the um, sticky thingies that have double ends. Uh, whenever I get them, I always just keep like the spare ones inside of a cabinet. And we're going to use that to add in some extra adhesive if I can peel the back of it off, which might prove to be a rather big challenge given how I had just clipped my fingernails <laughs> like last night. Okay, we have one side down, and then we shall hopefully get the other side. I have to tell you though, um, having Hartley Philodendron is hands down like one of my favorite plants to design and style with just because. One, they grow so rapidly and they grow so beautifully. A lot of people have them as trailing plants um, that just kind of hang down, sort of like how I have on my green wall. Um, but like I said, they are indeed climbers in the wild and they do want to climb. That's what they're trying to do. In fact, that neon green uh, philodendron heteracium, Hartley philodendron, is climbing on my wall. Um, and I do have some like sticky things holding it up and giving it a boost, but uh, that was the only one that I really hadn't uh, cut back a little bit when I started to uh, trim them back a couple months back. I mean, this wall up here was just covered in uh, Hartley Villadendron up until I was like, you know what? What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to clean it up and see what it looks like with a more organized look. And I'm so glad I did because uh, those vines can get out of control. All right. So that one worked. Um, and we're going to go with this one next. Now I do have these, um, clips that I was using for a long time and I've talked about them in past videos. They're these little, uh, cute adhesive, um, leaf clips. And so basically you just put them on the wall and, um, then you can open that up and put the vine through there and clip it. But I kind of didn't like them anymore after having them for a while, though they might have proven useful here. So if I don't like the way that these white ones look, then I will probably swap them out with um, those uh, little leaf-shaped ones. Those little leaf-shaped ones you can get really cheap on Amazon. Uh, I also found them at a couple local plant stores in Denver, but I think you can get like 60 of them for like 10 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal overall. Okay, so I have those in there. And now, my friends, we are going to start looping this baby through. Ooh, oh, I might not even have to swap them out because I think I could probably cover them up with these big leaves because for the aesthetic look, I just don't want uh, them to be seen. 
So let's continue on and move this around hither. Cool. I think it's just kind of like, oh, I guess you're going to have the random leaves that just don't always look the best. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. We are 3% through our project and continuing to go. I might have, I think I'm going to keep that one up there, but I think with the other one over here, I might just, no, I will put it up there. I'm going to move uh, this other, our leaf over there. Oh, no way, so I don't step on it. I just put that one in a basket and just kind of have it on the ground. I'm going to move this Pothos and Joy over to the side a bit. Switch around that way too. And then I think I kind of want that one to be in this tin also. I might switch it out and put them in like, I think probably actually white pots. Uh, put the terracotta pot within the white pot just because all the other pots that I have on my wall and around my apartment are, I've been switching into kind of a white cover. I just really like the classic white look. I would say that these Hartley philodendron are easier to care for than um, pothos. And pothos are super simple. The reason being why I think that they're um, better to care for and easier to care for is because they're, like I said earlier, they're more forgiving if you forget to like water them or do anything. And uh, that is really what I look for in plants. <laughs> Not these needy plants that, like, a uh, pothos is really simple, of course, but I feel like when they dry out and they need water, like, not only do they let you know, but they do it in a dramatic way, and they look gross, and their leaves don't bounce back as easily as uh, philodendron do. I'm probably going to need to take some, like, uh, zip tie, not zip ties, but, like, some green, um, almost like a zip tie, greenish color, and tie those up so they don't look all loose and stuff like that. Okay. So there's one. I'm going to loop this back through so it fills. No, actually, I'm going to have this because I want it to be like a frame almost. So we're going to figure out what to use to make that possible. And I'll probably end up using those um, green little leaf thingies, clips. I'm going to take, oops, almost stepped on that was <laughs> injured that I was telling you guys about on the floor. I'm going to take this part, and I'm going to bring that around there. Don't fall, grow light. I need to put that on a more secure uh, footing. Then this guy will go, I think, around here. Or the back of the leaf. Yeah. Oops, like so use those leaves to your advantage by just kind of um, twisting them around the other part so it looks more full. And then this feller here will go down and around, up and over, and then through here. Boy, I really hope this is entertaining video for you guys and it's not just really super boring because I can be a very boring person when it comes to this stuff and I can take forever. Okay, got that. We'll clip that through there. Give it a little bit of a more secure uh, footing there. And boom. There we go cool so far. You know, I was just thinking to myself too, is that I don't need any kind of like green twine because I have like hundreds of little green orchid clips, which would actually work perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of these together. So they're kind of held in tight and I'll move the back of those clips around so they don't really stick out and kind of create a not so appealing look. Um, there we go. And I want to make sure that I get these 
leaves in the fore foreground so they're not hidden in the back because I really don't like for aesthetic reasons again I don't really want um, the vines to be the dominant site there uh, this one needs to come through here I only imagine too like what if these plants can feel like when you're doing this like what is going through their mind are they like yeah here this guy goes again with his silly ideas and moving us around when we just want to be comfortable and not touched um, because I'm sure they're probably annoyed. I would be annoyed. I mean, I annoy myself. So I'm going to take this Brazil, this Heteracium Brazil, pull it up front as best as I can and use a clip also, if I can find them again, use a clip to I think like hold, hold this up as best as it can. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I'm curious to know if you guys don't mind writing in the comments, like, what do you guys do with your philodendron heteracium? And do you, do you usually have them like trailing or do you have them climbing? I'm curious to know because everybody's so different, but I feel like a majority of people usually have them as, uh, trailing plants because they are very lovely as trailing plants indeed um let's keep that part in there and working on that cool and that hides that a little bit better so well i think this leaf if i were to put that in there don't move <laughs> the problem is is that when i'm like actually like watching TV or watching TV with friends is that these plants do get in the way. So normally I have to move this global green pothos down because it does get in the way. Oh, those do work, but oh man, I really don't like the way that kind of is seen there. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe pull that down there. I suppose what I could do is use these clips to hold up this leaf a little bit better. Let's see. Will it work? Will it work? It'll always work. You'll always find a way. It's what I tell myself uh, most. Oh, yeah, it did work. <laughs> I was going to say most of the time it doesn't come to how I wanted it to be. But, you know, such is life. What was me? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. This guy's need to be clipped in a little bit tighter. Try to hide it behind these leaves. And yeah, that one works. I think this fellow here needs to be moved over more so, so it is hidden behind that leaf as well. That's what I needed to do from the beginning. I just got overly excited and decided to just start clipping away and clipping away and clipping away. Okay. And then some more here. Alrighty. I was thinking to myself initially too that maybe what I would do is have the extra um, uh, vining part come down, try to come, have it come down more so along the TV. Uh, and same on that side as well. But now what I'm thinking is I kind of like the idea of it trailing along here because it kind of uh, gives it that full circle picture. So what I'm going to do is move this one over here like this, like so. Um, let's see if I move this out of the way, will it hold it? Aha, it will indeed, and it's not crushing the stem, so that works. Okay, as for this guy, my overall decision with him is to maybe, do I loop it back through, or do I... Go around this, you know, no, I'm going to loop it back through. I've made an executive decision. I'm not good at this. Uh, making decisions, that is. Uh, and then I'm going to use this with some more hooks to clip it on like so. 
We want have this part go through here and up it around through there. Want this part to be hidden more. But do I want it to be hidden that much? Yes. Thanks for, uh, by the way, tolerating my nonsense and as I talk to myself. Because if I wasn't recording this, this is exactly how this would go. I would just not have you guys watching. So I appreciate your kindness. And you're just like me when I watch plant videos. Is I don't really care what, you know, a person is mumbling on and this and that. I just find them entertaining to watch. And especially if they're longer videos. Uh, okay, so... This here, clip it to here on the back, and voila. I'm also, because initially I was going to have these um, plants, the, the part of them that's in the pot, I was going to have them in that area, but I do like them up there more. So I need to figure out, do I put in that um, bromeliad back in that one spot, and do I... Put the uh, Burley Marks Variegata philodendron back in the other one, or do I just look for something that might be a little bit more clashing with this design and style? Oh, you know, I really, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that because it just adds, I feel like there's too many clips now and it's getting in the way. Yeah. It was a, a noble effort, but one that was unnecessary. Uh, there we go. So what I might do is I might just cut this part and take it as a cutting, or do I use those hooks that I have on the back? And the overall consensus was I did not like that up against there, so I ended up uh, moving the vine to this side of the TV, and I think it looks really cute. Um, and I also decided not to put the bromeliad back in there, or the uh, philodendron burly marks of Veragata. Instead, uh, I was thinking to myself, I have these two cuttings of my philodendron golden goddess that I had recently potted up, and I was like, oh, what am I going to do with these? Um, am I going to give them to friends who wants them and this and that? They've been sitting here for like a month, and uh, except for this one. I did pot this one up last night, uh, but I'm like, you know what? I actually kind of like the idea of having those inside the crates because I want to splash with the colors because you have in the middle here the um, Philodendron Brazil Heteracium with its variegation, which has some neon splash in it, um, and then I have the traditional one that we just hung up, uh, up there, I have the neon one, neon one. And so I figure that this is perfect because this plant can withstand the central air coming this way and it gives it enough light. And it also bounces off that beautiful neon green color. So I am really happy with this. I like the way it turned out, of course, because of the way that my mind thinks is that probably 15, 20 minutes from now, I will be like, you know what? What if I did it this way and this way and this way? And I'll probably change it around a million more times. But my crazy mind. I want to thank you guys again so much for putting up my antics and watching my videos. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun, plenty content. And I will see you guys in the next video.